Good day everyone! I'm happy to be back to my alma mater and this time I will be reading a story that could really resemblance her being true uplanders. Bakit nga ba tayo tinawag ng mga uplanders? This is because we are situated at the foot of Mount Banahaw. And the story I will be sharing you this time is a legend of why we called it Mountain Banahaw. Are you ready? I think so. The Legend of Banahaw from the book The Legends compiled and edited by Damiana L. Eugenio. Long before the mountain in the center of Luzon came to known as Banahaw, many places, especially those near the rivers, were already inhabited. Among the many families living there were the couple Lukban and Bayabas. They had only son Limbas of unusual strength, bravery, and swiftness. Rare was the deer, boar, monkey, or bird that could elude his arrow, so that in no time at all, the name Limbas became known in the area surrounding the big mountain. He was the center of admiration for all. And news of his bravery reached even distant places. One day, Limbas disappeared, to the great anxiety of his parent, who could not eat and sleep from worrying about him. After seven long days of anxious waiting, however, Limbas suddenly came home. He brought with him a bundle containing different kinds of clothes and delicious food. This was his story. He had been befriended by a bearded gentleman, an encanto, who brought him to his magnificent house located at the top of the mountain. There, all the animals, deer, fowls, etc., were white. There was a vast cacao plantation, its trees heavy with fruit. A carriage drawn by two white horses served as means of transportation in traveling all over Luzon. Every time Limbas would consent to go on this trip, he would be given gifts. The bundle of food and clothes he brought was the first gift given by the gentleman. He, however, instructed Limbas to kiss the hands of his parents first before giving them the gift. Failure to this would change the contents of the bundle. Several times after that, Limbas disappeared for seven-day periods, and each time he came home with a variety of clothes and food, which pleased his fair parents very much. One day, Limbas arrived bringing a bundle of little gold bowl as gift of the gentleman. In his great joy and eagerness to show them to his parents, he forgot to kiss their hands. He immediately opened the bundle saying, Here are riches for us, small golden balls. But when the bundle was opened, it contained not golden balls, but only the fruits of Anahaw. In his grief and disappointment, Limbas shouted, Bah! Anahaw? Ba! Anahaw! Ba! Anahaw! Since then, that mountain in the center of Luzon has been named Banahaw. Similarly, the present towns of Lokban and Tayabas were named after Bayabas and Lokban, the parents of Limbas. The Legend of Banahaw That is all. Thank you for listening.